All right, so what we're gonna show here, this is a common request, is how to create a CSV file. So we've been provided a Microsoft workbook and it has a table like this where it's got the boring information, northern easting, elevation of the existing surface to rock depth and the rock elevation. So for what we wanna do is we wanted to create a CSV file, which is a comma separated file, meaning that each cell is basically in a, what would they call an ASCII or a text file that is separated by a comma. So a prime example might be if I take a look at this file, what you see here, and I simply save it as a CSV file, which is really one way to do that. You could come in here and, and just go save as and choose from the option here, which is you know the file format, and you're saving it as a CSV file or a CSV Microsoft DOS, which is really the one that you're gonna use the most. Um, you can also use text, that's, but that's tab delimited. So instead of a comma, it's using tabs. And that creates a different format. So there is a text MS DOS, which would save it as a text file as well. But the CSV is important because it puts a comma separating the values. So if we were to take a look at a CSV file, and I'll show you here, I have this one I exported out exactly the way we're looking at it. I exported it out and saved it as a CSV file. And we'll take a look at this one next. This one's a little bit different. But if we right click on that, and this is a Windows feature, if you right click on it, you can open with Notepad. And you can also open with Excel because Excel can format this. But we want to look at it in Notepad because Notepad is a very generic format. So if I choose Notepad, you can see what it, what it has here. It's got a couple dots across the top. It's got the boring separated by comma, right? So it's taking in that header information, right? So if we go back to here and let's open up that file again, you can see what it's done is it's, you know, it's got row one and then it's got row two and row two is this one. And then it goes into the, you know, B1, northing, easting, elevation. And then each one of these is over here. And that may be good for what you're doing, but we really only want the rock depth. We don't want this column. We don't want this column. So you can see that in Notepad, it's very, it would be take us forever to come through here and, and remove and edit and clean this up. So what I'm gonna do is show you how you would manip manipulate that in, in Excel to get the file format that we want, okay? And it's basically just cleaning up and deleting different things. So you'll learn a few extra Microsoft Excel features here as, as well. Now you'll notice that we have one sheet here and there's already a sheet two and a sheet three, right? So if you look at sheet two is blank and sheet three is blank. So what we're gonna do, and we'll do it simply just selecting this set of data, okay? Um, and what it did was it auto-filled it. So let me undo that actually. I'm gonna do Control Z to undo. So if you make a mistake, Control Z is undo, or you can use the undo command up here. So instead of dragging that down, sorry, I'm just gonna select in this B1 cell I'm gonna hold my shift key down. I'm gonna select in this cell here. And then really we're just gonna control C, which is copy. And you see how it highlights this outer cell. And then we come over to sheet two and we're gonna go control V and that's gonna paste it. Now, when we paste it, we really don't need this formatting. So we're just gonna go and down at the bottom, you should have this control. And all we're gonna do is paste the values. That's all we care about. So you can see that it gets rid of all that formatting and keeps it all in B1 through B36. Now we'll switch back to this other worksheet. And with the northing and easting, we can do the same thing, but this time we can pick both columns, right? So I'm just using my left mouse button and I'm dragging my cursor all the way down to pick up both of those. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go control C and then we'll come over here and we will control V and you'll notice that it has these pound signs. So it looks like their data is messed up, but let's get rid of the formatting. And you can see now that it turns back into numbers. We'll talk about the, 
how to get the four digits here, right? We have four decimal places and the cell is rounding up. We'll show you that after we get the next piece of data, which is the rock depth, which is what we want in this case. If you want the rock elevation, then select this column, but we want the rock depth. So I'm gonna control C this. I'm gonna go over to this tab and I'm gonna control V there. Same idea, let's get rid of the formatting and paste just the values. Now, in here, what you can do is if you bring your cursor up and you place it between the two columns, you'll notice the cursor changes to a line with double arrows. If you double left click, it actually will expand out that cell to match the width of the data that you have in that cell. You can do the same thing over here, double click, and it does the width. If we do it on this one, you see it shrinks it down. That really doesn't matter for bringing it out, but it does make it easier to see and verify that you do have more than just one decimal place. So now that we have that, what we can do is go to file and we can save as, and in this case, let's give it a name. We'll call it three. It's going to go to that same folder where my other file is. And by default, it should be where you left off. It may say Microsoft workbook. We're going to pick comma delimited CSV. That's the file format that we want. We don't have to pick C Microsoft like Macintosh or DOS, just pick comma delimited CSV. And we'll click save. This is fine. We'll click okay to that. And now when we come over here and we take a look at three, this is my check. I always open it up in notepad because if I open up in notepad and I get the format that I want, then I'm good. Now you'll notice that it didn't export out both work sheets. It only exported out the sheet that I was on and, and that's what we saved it as. So, you know, there's, we don't get two tabs in a, in a notepad. So even if I open this up in Microsoft Excel, so instead of opening it in notepad and I open with Excel, you'll see that it's actually opening that same file. Okay. But if I open it with notepad, I well, so with Excel, I get both tabs, but if you open it with notepad, you'll see that you're only getting this tab that we were on when we exported it out. So this is the CSV file that we can import into other drawings. You can import in this into a data collector to go stake out this information or bring it into a, like I said, civil 3D or other CAD file. Okay. So if we close this, let's close this just to make sure if I close that one, um, we'll go ahead and save it. So now when you do that, it's going to ask us, do you want to save it? And I can save it as a CSV file because it's going to replace it. And let's go ahead and say yes. And now if I open this up, because it was still open. So if I open it up in Excel, it should remove that other tab and only give us the tab we were on. That's, this is what I was actually looking for. So you can see that once you save it as a CSV file and close it, it'll ask you to save it again, then you'll get these files and you still, it's still maintaining all the data, but notice you only got the one tab and doesn't have both tabs anymore. So either way it, it works, but just make sure when you save it, you save it as a CSV and whatever tab you're on, it'll store that CSV file.